My name is Heidi Anderson, and I'm a naturalist for Polk County Conservation. I have one of the best jobs because I get to teach people about nature. Sometimes I'm in a classroom teaching students about bats or frogs. Other times I'm taking a group of families on a nature hike through the woods. Sometimes I even get to work with live animals like snakes. Other times I write articles for the newspaper or talk on the radio. As a naturalist, I'm constantly asked to identify things. The science of identifying and classifying living things is called taxonomy. Scientists develop dichotomous keys to help them identify plants and animals. Dichotomous means divided into two parts. So when using a dichotomous key, you always have two choices to lead you to the correct name of the plant or animal. You too can use a dichotomous key to help you identify something. When you look at a tree, what do you look for to help you identify it? The leaves? Bark? Branches? Shape of the tree? Even the fall colors. So let's take a look at this tree back here. The first question in the dichotomous key asks us if the leaves are broad and flat or if they have needles. They are broad and flat. Trees that have these kind of leaves are also called deciduous trees. That means they lose their leaves every year. Now that we know this tree has broad, flat leaves, the next question in the dichotomous key is, does this tree have simple or compound leaves? This is a simple leaf with one blade. This leaf is a compound leaf with leaflets. So is our tree simple or compound? It is simple. The next question in the key is, does this tree have opposite or alternate leaves on the branch? Opposite leaves grow directly across each other in pairs. Alternate leaves grow singly along the branch with space between each leaf. So does our tree have leaves that grow alternate or opposite along the branch? They are alternate. The next question in the key refers to the leaf margin. The leaf margin is just the edge of the leaf. This is an example of a lobed leaf. This is an example of a smooth leaf. This is an example of a toothed leaf. So take a look at our tree. Is this leaf lobed, smooth, or toothed? It is lobed. So that's the last question. Our findings show that these are broad leaves, they're simple, alternate on the branch, and they're lobed. According to the key, this is a white oak, and the scientific name is Corcus alba. Let's identify this tree. The first question in the dichotomous key is, does this tree have leaves that are broad and flat, or are the leaves shaped like needles? The leaves are shaped like needles. Trees that have needles are called conifers or evergreens. Conifers produce cones and stay green year-round. The next question in the key is, does this tree have needles that occur singly or in multiple bundles or tufts. They occur in multiple bundles. To answer the next question in the key, we need to count the number of needles in the bundle. Are there two needles in a bundle? 
Or are there three or more needles in a bundle? There are two needles in the bundle. The next question in the key refers to the length of the needles. Are they long or short? Long needles are four to six inches long. Short needles are less than three inches. So let's look at these needles. These needles are six inches in length, so they are long. The next question in the key refers to characteristics of the needle. Are they thin and brittle and snap when bent? Or are they thick and stiff and fold when bent? So let's look at these needles. They snap when bent. So that was our last question. According to our findings, this tree has leaves in the shape of needles. They occur in bundles of two. They're long needles. And the needles snap when bent. According to the key, this is a red pine, and the scientific name is Pinus resinosa. By using a dichotomous key, you can identify different types of trees by looking at the leaves. The science of identifying and classifying living things is called taxonomy. Now that you can identify trees, walk around your neighborhood and see what kinds of trees are common to your area.